My name is Lawrence Alexander I'm from Dallas, Texas. I specialize in graphic design, art direction, illustration, using Prismacolor acrylics and vector art. When I was four years old, I think my mom was bored with me running around or scraping up the wall, so she gave me some pen and paper and just do something. So I just kept doing it. So whenever I was bored or needed to get away, pick up a piece of paper and draw on it. That's I did I just doing it before I knew what it was. One of my first painters that I uh, followed when in high school was a local artist, Vernon Wells. I got my start in drawing sports characters in high school. In high school, that's when people really started to really pay attention to my art. And Vernon Wells drew mainly pencil, sports art rather. And I loved his technique and I painted him. My, that's one of the first pack people I painted my technique under. I think my look is always evolving. I like to pride myself on doing fantasy with a little realism. A lot of my art is more realistic, but a touch of, or a bend of reality. The way I do art, it can, I like a story put behind it. I, it's, it gives it many roads to travel on. I'm working on a project for the city of Fort Worth, Pitt Adoption Drive. I'm, personally, I'm working on a few paintings, a few drawings, uh, more fantasy art. Whatever comes across my table, I'm working, I'm working. I started my company, Firestarter, uh, back in 2008. Ultimately, I want to create an anime, several uh, graphic novels based on my art, and maybe movies. At the end of it all, I want my art to be something bigger than just being in galleries. Because I believe that, you know, you take the style, you take what you do and let and try to expand it. What irritates me is when someone try to box you into a certain style or a certain uh, way of doing your art. Everybody has an opinion. And a lot of times, most of the times, it really has nothing to do with you or what you created or the hard work you put in it. It's just their opinion out of it. And unfortunately, a lot of what the outcome of what I get or bring home or, or what I do is based on someone else's opinion. It's not really a two plus two equals four job. It's a two plus two equals five and on Thursday it's seven. <laughs> it's so up in the air. Best part is proving that you can do whatever you want to if you put your mind to it. You can have your, it's, kind of, it's proving a validation that dreams come true. That's my main, I think that's my main takeaway. But what I value is taking something, you know, nothing, blank piece of paper or blank whatever board and creating a whole new world or something that never existed. Being an artist is more like being a, a true form of yourself. It's not just painting or singing, because life is art. Everything you do is an art or a technique. So when you're doing the thing that comes natural to you, then you're being the truest form of yourself. And the point of being a human being, in my opinion, is growing into something greater. You start from one point and growing to the next step. I like a lot of the Renaissance paintings, using like dark to illustrate light. I believe Raphael used one of those styles as well. That's why I like going to the DMA, looking at those paintings, so I can look at the techniques that still hold true today. For anyone who wants to learn how to draw or control their hand, Remember this one thing, everything you draw consists of lines and curves. If you can understand the relationship between every line and curve you draw, you can draw anything in the world. Keep trying, believe in it, believe in it. Believe that you're gonna make it. Believe that someone is gonna like what you're doing. And if not that, love what you're doing. And if you don't love it, if you don't like it, don't do it. If you don't believe in it, Spend no time in it.